Yeah, uh, this video is about the Don Q battle rap against Tory Lanez. But it's, it's not really about the Don Q battle rap against Tory Lanez. It's about why it's important. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So it seems to me, one of the great things about 2018, whether people want to recognize it or not, 2018 and basically the end of 2017 is what seems to be carrying over now in 2019 in the state of hip hop. And that's real hip hop returning. Now, with that being said, there's nothing wrong with pop music. There's nothing wrong with crossover pop music, rap music that basically crosses over into other genres and become pop music. There's nothing wrong with that. I do not think that that needs to go anywhere. But with the, with the return, pardon me, with the return of real hip hop, of rappers battling on wax and not taking it out into the streets, this is what our culture needs and so before i go any further into this whole uh <laughs> sorry lanes don q thing before i go any further into that i want to point that out shout out to tory lanes because he's going out there and he's calling dudes out he's saying look this is what this is about this is a real sport and this being a real sport we have to have matches, basically. So, Tory Lanez was talking crazy, as everybody probably knows, on Twitter or is it uh, Instagram? I forget what, what platform. But he was talking crazy on one of those social media platforms. So, Don Q has been the latest to pick up the mantle and say, I'm going to go at you. And you know who should be really pissed off at this? Not Tory Lanez. The person who should be really pissed off about this is Joyner Lucas. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of backdrop on why I think Joyner Lucas should be more upset than Tory Lanez about this. First of all, Joyner Lucas was on a song with Eminem. Right? The song that he was on with Eminem was a really good track. It was a, a dope-ass track. Let's not forget that. That's one. Two, when you're on a, a, a dope-ass track with one of the best battle rappers of all time, and you're holding your own, you're not supposed to just get eviscerated by your Tory Lanez, a singing dude. You're not just supposed to get eviscerated. So before we go any further, let me also add this. This rapidy rap rap, right? Shout out to, shout out to Joe Budden. Because he said that on his platform. This rapidy rap rap, right? And a lot of us likes to listen to that rapidy rap rap. Sometimes I want to listen to that too. Lyrical gymnastics where people is, is using words and, and jumping back and forth and flipping, switching up flows and all that is great. But sometimes it does not have any substance to it. The thing that makes Eminem so dangerous is not many rappers could rapidy rap rap and have weight to the phrases or the words or the bars that they're spitting. Eminem has that ability. You know, uh, I, I, I don't think Eminem's bars are messing with some other people if we're just talking straight bars. But his rapidy rap rap is better than almost everybody else's rapidy rap rap. So that's a rap. Anyway, when Jordan Lucas was on that track with Eminem and show that he can hang with, because Jordan Lucas's verse was fucking fire. Let's not forget that. Jordan Lucas had a dope verse, all right? 
when Jordan Lucas is on that track and he shows that he could do what he could do, and then he gets into a beef with Tory Lanez and his words don't have any gravity to it, doesn't have any depth to it, it's just surface level MCing, he was exposed by a singing dude. You got it, Tory Lanez. So the reason why Jordan Lucas should be even more Jordan Lucas had to spit some balls at Don Q. If Jordan Lucas, <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the Don Q rap yet. If Jordan Lucas doesn't throw some bars at Don Q, then I don't know how much we could really respect what that dude is doing. And I'm just keeping it a buck. So Don Q goes at Tory Lanez. And I'm not going to repeat none of the bars here or anything like that for all who's heard it. You know what I'm talking about. And for everybody that hasn't heard it yet, get up off your butts. Come on, man. Go listen to the dang track. It's fire. And besides that, um, Don Q, a New York dude. So this is what I want to say about a lot of y'all uh, rappers that live in other places. There's a reason why New York rappers sound a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not just because this is where this form of music was created at. It's because in our everyday life, People flame each other. God, we usually, we literally sit around. And whenever we, God's according to, we're battling. Okay. Maybe not with rap. You know what I'm saying? Because no, I'm not saying with rap particularly, but we're battling. We're flaming each other. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we talking our best. You understand what I'm saying? The women too. You understand what I'm saying? Witty as hell. Anybody that's, that's like from a, a smaller sound city and came to New York and just see how New Yorkers just go at each other and nothing is taken personal. You could literally, and this is just a fact, I'm telling you a fact. You're a New Yorker, you could go to the freaking corner bodega or especially where the, the ones that the, 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 the Arab guys be running, those aren't in bodegas, those are just stores. Those are just corner stores. The bodegas is ran by the Dominicans and the Puerto Ricans. They run in the bodegas and the Cubans in some spot. They run in the bodegas. But you go to the stores, the regular corner stores, and you might, you're going to see Arabs getting into it with the, and I'm not, this isn't a racist thing. I'm just saying, those are the guys that usually run those stores. And they're getting into it with their customers. It happens. Fights don't break out. People just go back and forth. Witty banter. Go to the Chinese food restaurant. People are always arguing with the Chinese food guy. This I'm that, this is what I'm trying to explain. I don't know about like in Lower Manhattan. I'm talking about like in the outer boroughs. People are always argue with the Chinese food guy. New Yorkers just argue. You understand what I'm saying? So when y'all decide, so when y'all decide, so when y'all decide that y'all want to battle with New Yorker in a rap, please, you gotta have bars. Because we kind of battle all day. You understand what I'm saying? Like, all day. Anyway, so, Don Q put out a rap, and the name of the rap is I Am Not Joiner. And that's one of the most New Yorkist named battle raps I can ever think of. I'm not that dude that you just got finished handling. That ain't me. There's a problem. Maybe no problem. Over there, over here, there's a problem. And when I tell you that Don Q, first of all, a lot of people don't know how to battle rap. Don Q successfully battle rap according to what the principles of battle rap is without even bringing in too much personal business. So he might not know personal stuff, but what he did say was, you stole my style. What he did say was, you also stole this other dude's style. You the dude, playing the dude, disguises another dude. <laughs> what in the heck? So basically, he called out Tory Lanez for not just stealing his style, but stealing Drake's style. Also, in addition to. The bars was tough. The bars was hard. Please go listen to it. But I made this to say, I made this whole entire video to say, this is what hip hop needs. Please, everybody, 
Stop getting into these 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 disputes with rappers and deciding that y'all want to take it to the streets. Please, let's people on these platforms, these social media platforms. Stop talking about how you're gonna punch somebody in the face when y'all see them. Whether you gonna or whether you could or not, that's not the point. The point is hip hop culture, a large portion, if not damn near a hundred percent of hip hop culture in the beginning originated from New York City. Was there violence here at that time? Absolutely. Don't get it confused. Was there drugs here at that time? Absolutely. Don't get it confused. Was there women that didn't treat no how were they part of me? Men that didn't know how to treat women at that time? Absolutely. Don't get it confused. Were there women that was slinging it anywhere? To any old person for any old thing? Absolutely. Don't get it confused. But at the base and at the core of everything is the ability for us to battle each other. And I think Don Q has definitely shown. Look, man. You want to dance? Put on your shoes. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.